G'day guys, welcome to my channel, my name's Dean, and today we're going to be doing a, a movie watch along for Fear Street Part 1, 1994, which has just, just been released on Netflix. It's going to be a trilogy, we've got two more parts coming, two more parts, and um, I'll be getting my reactions up to those when they get released, I think it's next week. Now, I'm a big fan of slasher films, I grew up watching horror as a kid, and um, I've got a real soft spot for the genre with my, my Freddy Kruegers and my Jason Voorhees and, and Michael Myers. I have... um. A real appreciation for the genre. It can be campy, it can be fun. I mean, Scream did it really, really well. So Scream was a real satirical take on the, the slasher genre, mixing both comedy and scares really well, starring Nev Campbell. It was a great franchise. So coming into this one, Fear Street, I, I know nothing. I just did a little bit of research before I'm before I press record on the camera there. So this is actually based on a series of books by R.L. Stein, who also did Goosebumps, I think. I've never read any of his works, but I'm I'm really curious to see what this um this movie's like. It's getting a lot of buzz on Twitter right now. That's what kind of brought my attention to it. So I thought let's take a look. So looking at the cast, the only person that I really know is uh Maya Hawke from Stranger Things. And she's the daughter of Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman. So uh Take that as you will. A little bit of uh, trivia for you if you didn't know who she was. So the way I'm going to do things on my channel, I'm going to do the full timer reaction for Patreons. And then I'll do like a, a shortened, a shortened highlighted version for YouTube, depending how long it takes to edit. You just got to be really careful with all the, um, for the, the copyright stuff. So without further ado, let's dive into Fear Street Part 1, 1994. Are you ready? And of course, I've got all my links down below for um, my socials, including Patreon, if you want to come and say hi. I'm hoping this is good. I'm not expecting much for a movie that's released on streaming. It's trash. Lowbrow horror. And have a nice night. Bye. Shady Side Mall. Shady Side. Nine Inch Nails. Just saying that song would not be played in a mall during trading hours. Oh, scream flashback. Hello, this is B. Dalton's. We're closed. I'm liking the scream vibes. Definitely a call out to the beginning of that first movie with Drew Barrymore. Are we gonna get zombies? Nice. Nightmare on the Street call out. Nice. The janitor. Oh, in the bucket. Okay. What? Goofy friend. Fine. Just give me and uh, Jasmine here 15 minutes to close up. What okay, shop is he in? Yeah. I'm assuming this is a slasher film. It could be. Could be anything. I don't know. It's uh, supernatural, maybe. It might not be a slasher. It could be um spooky ghosts. But I didn't. I didn't know it was based on a bunch of books. Okay. So getting all the books here, I don't know if they're going to be like in reference to the, the original covers at all. Jackie Collins. I've read one of her books. Guilty. So I'm hoping we get some um, some decent scares in this. Maybe a decent helping of gore. So at this stage of the game, I'm still thinking that somebody's playing a, a trick on her. Like one of her goofy friends. Ah, oh, scream. Here we go. I'm loving all the obvious call-outs. Very reminiscent of um of Ghostface from Scream, which is cool. So obviously Halloween. I, l I love the uh the use of lighting they're they're using right now. They're like black light. Stealthy. Shh. Don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourself by bumping into things, tripping over, screaming unnecessarily. Ah, oh, see, here he is, the real guy. Oh. So this dude is legit trying to kill us, so we just need to know who he is and why. I like the outfit, it's, it's okay. Like I said, very reminiscent of our uh, ghost face. Oh! Hey. Yes. So she's literally the last one left in the mall? Oh, crap! Is Maya Hawk gonna do a Drew Barrymore? It is so reminiscent of Scream. Oh, she out. That's the friend. 
Ryan! Why a dick, Ryan? He doesn't care. Okay. Okay. So it starts off with the murder in the mall. Well, I don't know if, um... Maya Hawk is going to be around for the rest of the movie. More body parts found. So being a trilogy, I wonder if it's going to be based on the same killer. Or if they're going to be like different stories each time. Sunny, Sunny Vale. I keep thinking Sunnydale. Buffy. I'm, I'm probably missing a whole bunch of clues here in the opening credits by not paying attention. A lot of our uh, talk of a witch. Sarah Fire. Fear Street, 1994. I'm assuming they're all going to be different books for each movie. A little bit of garbage, nice. Shirley Manson bringing the pipes. Massacre at the mall last night, so Mayor Hawk is out. So just a cameo. Very scream. Ruby Lane. Who is Ruby Lane in 65? Okay, is that going to be one of the... Are they the other two movies? I don't remember the dates. Dude, what the hell? This isn't yours, Dillweed. I get it, you're building a shrine or something? It's a community dedicated to the truth. Look, some internet guy went bullshit. crazy and killed a bunch of people at the mall last night. It's gonna go nowhere. This internet. I mean, I've seen a lot of horror movies. I know all the cliches. If it's done well and with respect and, you know, tongue in cheek, it could be fun. Like in the soundtrack. My Hawk was a witch. cameo. Sarah Fear's back. Sarah Fear. Oh, I was saying it wrong. Sarah Fear. Sarah Fear. Fear. Fear Street. I get it. I see what they did. Yeah. Dude, why? 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 Why would you do that? So they shot Ryan. They shot Ryan dead. What can I say his name? They shot Ryan dead at the beginning. So the killer was killed by the security dude. Or the cop, whatever it was. So ob obviously there's going to be some kind of a, a supernatural force at work here that's possessing the kids and making them kill. Unless Ryan comes back as a, a zombie. The football team and the cheerleaders. So Dina likes Sam, who apparently likes another girl, but it just makes me think of Supernatural. Dean and Sam Winchester. My brother's name is also Sam. So Sam is a bit of a... Player, bit of a dick. She thought they had something special, but alas, Sam's an asshole. Sam. That's Sam. Okay. You broke up with me, remember? So stop acting like I'm the bad guy. Say that again, Do they swear in um goosebumps? <laughs> oh, punchy punch. Put some uh, trouble on the footy field. Who's in the car? Will it be Sam? No. Skullface, dude. Skullface. Oh. Sunnyvale has been dickheads. Sam's in the car. Oh, Sam. I'm very disappointed in you. Oh, dude. There's always one. Yeah, why? Boom. Did she accidentally kill her ex-girlfriend? She accidentally killed her ex-girlfriend. Oh, something bad gonna happen. Oh, she had visions. See? She's fine. No. No. Oh. My clean white shirt. This guy looks familiar to me too. I recognize his face. My car? No, we're doing a lot of those little jump scare oh, Daddy, things, right? Something just appears and there's like a piercing piece of music. You were all fucking dead. Punch that guy in the face. Asshole. So I'm assuming that Dina is the main character. It could be Sam. Or Sam is the next one on the hit list because she had the visions. 
Are they gonna subvert my expectations and mix it up? Melvin's room. Melvin. That's not Melvin. That's is that Melvin? I'm gonna kill you. It's Josh. Who's Melvin? Ominous Sunny music Valprick. playing. Sunny Val prick. Okay, I don't think it's um. Well, it could be. It could be Peter. It could be any one of them possessed. Jesus, put something on. Yeah, please, dude. Oh, make up your mind, woman. Uh oh. Oh. Hey, creeper! What the. F What if it's not a mask? What if it's like a genuine reanimated skeleton? I mean, we know Ryan was wearing a mask in the beginning. But what if it's a walking skeleton? <laughs> go with it, all right? Just go with it. He had a knife. Whoa, with the kids there? That's whack. That's fucking right, Josh. It is whack. Fuck Peter. Hello, don't forget the most important part. Fuck Sam. Fuck Sam. Fuck her. Tell Nurse Betty she is a patient. Nurse Betty. Betty. <laughs> if you know, you know. Blueberries and bananas. Pancakes. I could oh. You want anything from the machine? She knows her drugs. I went straight to pancakes. I like pancakes. What can I say? So who is the first one to be murdered? Sam had a vision. She saw the witchy thing. No, Peter's been here. You need to call him right now and tell him to back off. You're out of this shithole tomorrow. Ooh. Perfect timing, asshole. Where's your stupid mask? Great. Have a nice goddamn life. Oh shit. Surprise, motherfuckers. Here he is. Took out the doofus boyfriend first. Good. He was a doofus. We got running and screaming. Run, 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 run. Dropping all the, the chocolate. Oh, god damn it. Oh, this is cool. Who got the keys? Nobody's, nobody, nobody. Somebody always drops the keys. So we're doing um Halloween 2 right now. Set in a hospital. I like it. Scream, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street. It's all coming together. I like it. The Winchesters. You gotta tell me, right? Sam and Dina, it's a supernatural call out, right? I mean, I don't know when the books were written, but I'm gonna use it. Oh, Nurse Betty is out. You have a sore throat? Take two disprint and call me in the morning. <gasps> Zombie Ryan, yes. Holy fuck, he's still got the bullet wound in his head. Picked it. I'm pretty sure I picked that. I like my horror movies when they have a touch of the supernatural. In plain sight. Yeah, just like Bundy. So he's he's the Randy. He's the Randy. He's the one that knows all the stuff. That's Ryan Torres. Exactly. Yes. Yes, that's him. Dead killer chase. Would you say he was more uh, Dawn of the Dead or... Yes. Dawn. Dude, come on, man. I mean, we've, we've all been there, but come on. That actually startled me. <laughs> Jump scares. Tell you what. Wait, are, are all the victims going to turn up as, um... Are you okay? No. Do you, do you need help? Dead gum. Uh-oh. Wait, there's going to be more than one killer running around? He just got stabbed in the leg, I think. Oh, he's getting murdered in the street. Oh, shit. She just dropped the gun. Oh, she's getting up. She getting up again. You dropped the gun. What, a razor? Yeah, for like old timey shaving or. In old timey shaving. It's a straight razor, dude. Newspaper clippings. This is Ruby Lane. Ruby Lane. She she fillets her friends. Fillet her friends. Yes. Why didn't I see this on the news? Because it was a long time ago. ago. 1965. Come back 30 years, Marty. 1965. When are the other two movies set? I can't remember. 16 years ago. 
Mass psycho murders a bunch of kids at camp, camp Nightwing. 1950. Harry Rooker. Oh. Local milkman slashes a bunch of housewives. Jesus. 1935. Two. Shit. Billy <gasps> 1904. Grifter guts girls and on and on. It's the first one recorded. He killed kids and cut out their eyes. Gross. Gross. Just saying. Very, very gross. <coughs> See? She's hurling. That wasn't very convincing, cute, though. I'm just saying. Okay, we have two of her killers after us, and both of them are dead. Why is she so mad at us? I saw her. Oh, yes. The, the, the vision. Bum, bum, bum. I saw the witch. Of course you did. I can't believe you're wearing that. I can't believe you're above wearing it when you're in the middle of the fucking woods and dead maniacs are after us. Dead maniacs. I like her. Kate's cool. The feisty cheerleader. A chain. Oh. Chains? To a buried door? Not just chains. She oh. It's her. Uh, it's her grave. Her grave. Oh no, no, no. This is bad. Okay, so the witch has just been doing her thing for years. Possessing somebody. Killing folk. But she's pissed at this lot. Because they fucked her grave up. How many kids are going to make it out of this movie alive? There have got to be more deaths. The cheerleader is going to buy it. The, the scaredy cat friend is going to buy it. The nerdy kid won't. Sam or Dina might. Don't play with the witch bones. Don't play with the witch bones. But Dina's nose was bleeding in the butt as well before right so what's the, what's the significance of them both getting a nosebleed there's still about 40 to 50 minutes left of the movie oh shit oh psycho killer the axe one oh i like his look cool got a bunch of psycho killers about us. Okay, he wanted this. Oh. Sam's blood. Is the cop gonna buy it? He seems likable enough. Or he's gonna get possessed. I don't know. I'm having fun second guessing it, but I, I don't know. Hit the showers. Uh oh. I don't want to go in by myself. Oh. Care to join me? Yeah. He's like, oh yeah. Lucky day. Things are gonna get all romantic now. He's the only one on his own. Dead. Josh? Can you help me? Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap. Not a, not a trap? Oh, dude. Risky business reference right now. Guy dancing in his jocks. You toast. What does he don't this what? <laughs> Control yourself, kid. What if tonight's it for us? Oh, I don't want to die a virgin. She, what are you, crazy? Really? Wow, everyone's getting it on. These two, them two. And the guy that's alone giving himself some some self-love. Spooky school. Oh, shit. Ryan's here. And probably a couple other psycho killers as well. Ruby Jane. Axe, dude. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. 
The Winchesters would be proud. Yuck. Oh, is it is it reforming? Is it the witch? Oh shit, time to go. Oh, Hellraiser. How's Frank? <laughs> we just tried to goddamn explode them and that didn't work. You're so I'm ending this. No, you're not. Are you crazy? I love you. Nope. The witch wants her body. The effects are good. The fucking rhyme. Take your blood, take your head. She'll follow you until you're dead. Until you're dead. Just like Kate said. Sapy arm. So we'll kill you. We kill you. And bring you back. And then just like the sea Berman bitch, we bring you back to life. How? So the second movie is 1978. And the third movie is 1666. So we're going to go back to um, this dude's time period in the second one. And it's going to be one long... I, I, I just had a quick break between, between edits. And I just had to do some research. Because my camera can only record for 30 minutes. So I've broken down the movie into like 25 minute chunks. And I have a, a quick break between each one. My wife just come home, had a quick cup of coffee. And I did some research. So yeah, 1978 is part 2, and 1666 is part 3. So we're going back to the witch in that last one. It's happening again. Who's that to? So I reckon that cop will be in part 2 as a younger dude. Employee of the month every month? Dude, overachiever, come on takes the edge off. You're going to feel like you're being fucked by a unicorn. So is she going to do an OT? Die? Be resuscitated? That's all going to go to hell. That's nice, isn't it? Finding love in adversity. When this is all over, I am going to take you on a date. We're going to eat cheeseburgers. And listen to the pixies. All right. And make out and have the best night of our goddamn lives. Good night out. I approve. You've got to die. Right now you got to die. <laughs> so you can't kill them. We burned them up and they just regenerated. So pretty much the witch is unstoppable. Are we going to see the witch herself? Or just her minions? Or are they going to save her for, the, um, for part three? So I'm feeling that this one is definitely um, a love letter to Scream. So I'm thinking the next one being set in the 70s will be like a love letter to Friday the 13th. Is she being fucked by a unicorn right now? Next, open up. Is there egg? Where's the water? You need water to swallow your tablets. I'm just saying, I can't dry swallow. So we're in a supermarket. I used to work in a supermarket many years ago. I hated it. I hated it. That was cool. She was a badass. Wait, all you guys are safe because they're not after you. Why hide? They're just going to go right past you anyway, right? They don't care. They just want Sam. Oh, unless they're, um, pissed at all the kids because they got burned. So Katie's getting attacked, but I don't know why. Uh-oh. Wow. Maybe all these kids are going to make it out of this movie alive. They're pretty handy. Duck. Got her. <gasps> Holy shit. It's the meat slicer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, 
Oh, they killed the cheerleader. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, that... Okay. Killing all the kids off. <laughs> Bloody hell. I just vanish? Poof. Puff of smoke. Gone. You've just... You've just lost two of your friends. Mate... The mate slicer. <laughs> Shit. Was that like six EpiPens? Isn't that too much adrenaline? Here we go. She lives, but at the expense of two of their friends. I'm listening now. He knows something. There's nothing else to say. He's gonna be in the next one. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow? No. Oh. I can't. See you tonight. Oh, that's even better then. Right in front of the mom. Go, go, Fram. We ended it. Sam's fucked. We stopped the killers. But you haven't stopped her. The witch. You can't. She'll come for you. Uh oh. Oh, she's gonna collapse. She's already dead. Wait, what? Oh, she's possessed. Oh, shit. Was her hand on his shoulder then? Uh oh. Oh, she tied her up with a phone call. What the fuck? We have to get her back. Oh, wow. I'm going to get you back. Hey, it's the chick from, um, Stranger Things. Times change. Evil doesn't. Oh, spoiler alert. Well, we, we already knew the sister was going to die. Okay, and that's a wrap. We were done. Okay, um, just got to stop the camera and I'll come back with my uh, thoughts and feelings. Okay, so overall, that was a, a pretty enjoyable slasher, pretty much. Um... Supernatural elements, but at its core, a uh, slash uh, with the the skull face, axe dude, and Ruby Lane being the main antagonists. But we didn't see anything about the witch, so she was obviously the um overwhelming supernatural force, and she's possessed Sam there at the end. So uh, I like the nods at all the other horror films that came before it, like I saw Halloween in there, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, definitely Scream, uh, a little bit of uh, Evil Dead too there with uh, Sam's possession. Just a lot of little nods to uh, the genre that I've loved for for decades, which makes me really sad. But overall, not too bad of a film. I've definitely seen worse horror flicks. There, there's bad ones out there, trust me. But this one was fun. It had an engaging cast. I was tricked by Maya Hawk. So when I'm looking at the Internet Movie Database, Maya Hawk is Heather top build. But, you know, she did the Drew Barrymore in, in Scream. If you've seen that, you know what I'm talking about. If not, I've just spoiled it for you. But yeah, just a, a quick cameo. So the cast overall was pretty good. Like I said, the performances were fairly solid. I found most of the cast engaging. The kills were good. I was expecting more kills. There could have been more kills. But what we got was good. I mean, Nurse Betty with the... In the hospital. But Kate, Kate takes the cake. She's the MVP for deaths in this movie with um the, the meat slicer, her head going through it that was a shock I wasn't really expecting it to go that dark with the gore but it, it, it's yeah it kind of showed us the um the outcome of our head going through a slicer and all its glory which I really appreciate I mean when you watch a horror movie like this you want you want to see the gore right that's what brings us in so kudos for um not holding back on the, the slice and dice and, and the red stuff um the other dude I keep forgetting his name but axe in the head so just as I was kind of thinking most of the kids are going to make it out of this movie alive. 
yeah, they, they <laughs> I spoke too soon. They got um ended. So I'm going to do the reactions for the next ones when they come out in, in a couple of weeks. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, the uh, full timer-based reaction on Patreon, and I've got links down below for that, and my Discord and TikTok and Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, just down below. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'm going to try and do like a really short edited highlight version for you to watch on YouTube, depending what um the, the copyright and the censors will let me show. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of blood, a lot of blood and red stuff. YouTube might be might be a little bit funny about that, so I'm have to do some tricky editing. So I guess I'll see you all for um, Fear Street 1978 in a couple of weeks. See you then. Thanks for watching.